Now, will you notice? First, the diagnosis of a new case of leprosy. Verse 1 and 2 I'm reading, And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, saying, When a man shall have in his skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, a bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron the priest or unto one of the sons of the priest. Compared to modern techniques of diagnosis, the methods of Leviticus seem very crude, and the procedure was adapted to the knowledge of the day. The diagnosis was not done in order to prescribe a treatment but rather a religious ritual. That's all. And I think that that should be stated emphatically before any valid criticism can be made. Very frankly, friends, I happen to know, since I have cancer, how that's done. When I first went to my doctor, he looked at it. And just by looking, he came to the conclusion it was cancer. But it was not until a biopsy. The test was made in a scientific way that they decided that they should operate. You see, after all, they could know a great deal about it in that day. And the priests literally handled, I think, thousands of cases. So they knew what to look for. And maybe this isn't as crude as some people think it is. But for that day, it's a pretty good system, friends. Now, the emphasis here is upon the spiritual ceremony rather than the physical catharsis. Three symptoms are identified here. A rising, and that's a boil, a scab, that would be a small tumor, and a bright spot. Now, these were symptoms, but the person having such a symptom need not necessarily be a leper. The first step was to bring the patient with a symptom to Aaron or one of the priests. And just so, any manifestation of sin, either small or great, should be brought immediately to our great high priest, who is also the great physician. And I believe that today the child of God ought to come to the Lord Jesus immediately when he sins, if he's a child of God, and see whether this thing's going to break out in leprosy or not. Turn the case over to the great physician. And I think that when you're physically sick, you ought to take it to the great physician, the Lord Jesus. I got such an ugly letter not so long ago. Oh, how cruel people can be. They sure know how to hurt you. This man wrote and said, Now, if I wasn't stubborn and proud and I would humble myself and go to a certain healer, I'd be healed and because I hadn't is the reason I hadn't been healed. Well, I got a lot of sins, friends, but that just doesn't happen to be one of them. I'd go anywhere if I had faith to believe that it could be. But you see, I took my case to the great physician, the Lord Jesus, and I go there when I sin, and I go there when I get sick, and I find out that's the place to take it first. And then I believe that you do sensible things. When it has to do with sin, I think that he cleanses you, and that means you're not to go back to the pig pen and get dirty again. And then if it's a disease, I think he intends for me to go to my Christian doctor because I think he gave him the gift that he has. And so we are to confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness.